<laughs> Devin Dowling says, uh, who's going to win the Olympics this year? Oh, Dad, Devin, I don't give a flying fuck shit about the Olympics. I don't give a flying fuck shit. I don't. I think it's. I think it is the most. It's it's the biggest money grab. The Olympics that I remember, the Dan Gable Olympics, that was a great that was great athletic competition. This is just a big TV show with the the International Olympic Committee that just is probably as about as uh, probably as about as dirty as they can you can find. Dave McClay wants to know, because you're not a fan of the WWE Hall of Fame, do you believe this is the best wrestling Hall of Fame? Of course, he's talking about the TNT Hall of Fame in Waterloo. Do you think that's the best Hall of Fame? I don't, I'm not familiar with any other Hall of Fames. So I, I, well, I am familiar with any other Hall of Fames, but I've never been to any other Hall of Fame. So it's hard for me to compare. Uh, Bryant wants to know when you're driving 11 hours in the car home, what are you listening to the entire time? I'm listening to, uh, there's a lot of it. I'm just with my thoughts and driving with nothing. Um, but, um, I listen, I've got a, uh, on Apple music, I've got my favorites list, which is about a hundred songs long. And I just list, I just put it on, uh, I put it on and listen to that uh, on um, on shuffle. Don't listen to podcast. Uh, I I did make a mistake because I wanted to find out on Sunday as I'm driving. I wanted to find out how's things going with CrowdStrike and Delta. So I go to uh, Sirius because I got the Sirius app and I got it on my Apple phone. My iPhone, I go to the Sirius app and I go to, I go to news and I'm searching news and I see Fox news headlines. I said, okay, they're not going to talk politics on air. Boom. I put it on there and they're talking politics and I went, fuck. So I didn't find out anything there, but uh, sometimes I do listen to comedy. I listen to Bill Burr, but I'll listen to it. I'll, I'll stream a, like one of his, uh, his YouTube shows, something like that. Listen to that. Um, but I won't, uh. I don't listen to podcasts at all. I even tried it and I love Kevin Smith. And of course, you know, he's been on the forefront of podcasts for a long time. I love Kevin Smith, uh, but I, I don't really care for his podcast. So there, isn't it something I'm a podcaster and I ain't a fan of podcasts. Used to listen to John boy and Billy's podcast a lot, but I stopped doing that. Stopped doing that many months ago. I, I call Stone Cold said so. I can read the do lip reading on that. Devin yeah, Dowling no. wants to know: Would Tony ever take a table bump like Paul Heyman did? No, no, no. Uh, would you take a one winged angel? No, I wouldn't take anything. I'm old. You understand? Yeah. I'm I'm fucking old. I'm going to be. 67 in November. I'm old. Okay. Every time I was old. You've mentioned it before. Yeah, I'm old. I think it's come up. So this is the inaugural brawl. Is Vince involved in this anyway at all? Is he? Yeah. He's representing the WWF. Uh huh. His kids and Paul Heyman are representing the Alliance. Oh, so Paul the WWF versus ECW and WCW. Okay. So Paul Heyman's coming out for this. Paul Heyman is the voice of ECW. If they would have had Eric Bischoff as the voice of WCW, this would have been awesome. But instead, it's Shane and Stephanie. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Stephanie owns ECW and Shane owns WCW. Oh, what an angle, huh? And Linda owns TNA. How about that? And his secretary owns Global. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here's one from coach Rosie. You had a video crew that interviewed James Elkari and I, do you know when that will drop? I have no idea. Didn't even know the video crew would be there, uh, until Thursday of last week. So I have no idea what they're going to do with it. Dave McClay says, who, Tony, who was the best at playing Alfred? 
Hmm. Michael, uh, is it Michael Kane? Yeah, he did a good job. Yeah, he was great. He's just a great actor. Um, he was the best at it. Uh, Dave uh, from San Antonio wants to know, Tony, would you take a gooch slap from Dr. Britt Baker? No. Hmm. Thank you for the question, though. Would you take a Bronco Buster? From no, I, I, no, I'm taking no bumps from anyone. I mean, I've seen you get pushed down and knocked around. You have? Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I, Wardlow ran over me one time. MJF uh, pushed you down or something? M MJF pushed me down, yeah. What about a Meltzer driver from the Young Bucks? No. I don't know if you know this, but I'm old. Didn't stop, didn't stop, uh, Adam Copeland from jumping off a goddamn cage. What's your excuse? Well, he's been used to it. <laughs> he's done know, things he's like that before. Okay. He's done things like that before. Is, is that Paul Heyman with a hat on? Yeah, it he is. Wore a hat. Yeah. I didn't recognize him because he looked so skinny there. Well, it's 23 years ago. And yeah, 2,300 pounds ago. What's wrong with you? Why are you so mean no, to Paul? There, there's nothing wrong. What are you talking about? How about Freddie Blassie trying to motivate the troops here? <laughs> I think I'm, uh, give me a time. Give everybody a time code of where you are. 34, 30, 31, 32, 33. Oh, wait, you, you, we're not watching the same thing. You're watching on Pacock. I downloaded yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. I watch on Bacock because when I download it, uh, everybody else, uh, we are at, I'm at one fifty seven twenty seven. just saw Freddie blasting. And now we're seeing him brawl in the ring. And now we're seeing, uh, Steve Austin walk to the ring, uh, and he's clearing out the ring. Was there anybody more over than Steve Austin? Nope. Never in the yeah. history of ever, uh, man. Hey, I know we don't talk about politics here. Thank God. Yeah. But would you have ever had it on your bingo card that Hulk Hogan would speak <laughs> at a convention? We were, that was, we were uh, getting ready to go to dinner at the hotel in Waterloo. And I looked on the, um, the TVs in the bar and I saw Hogan posing and I'm thinking, yeah. well, what the hell is going on? And then I saw the bar Fox news and said, Republican convention. And I went, wow. It was a show. I mean, Kid Rock, Dana White, Linda McMahon, mm -hmm. Hulk Hogan. I'm like, is this just the WWE Hall of Fame here tonight? <laughs> or it's, I mean, 